all YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and people that follow me on Twitch and Hitbox.tv and Ustream and soon to be a live stream. Um, trying to go from HUD here and, you know, yeah, I gotta just start, you know, I gotta just turn this game on. If you basically don't guess what this game is, um, yes, you know, as you already know, as the title says here on YouTube. Godzilla. Then, you know, this is the new one that came out this week of this month, which came out 2015, July 14th, of course. And I gotta basically say, um, there are likes and dislikes I have about this game. One of the likes is the likelessness of Godzilla, which is really good. Um, um, Bandai basically did an awesome. Uh, what you call it, on this little scenario thing. It, you know, it's sad that I don't have the PS4, you know, like I don't have a PS4 system. It would probably be even cooler on the PlayStation 4. Um, you know, like I got mine. You know, like I don't have, you know, please note that this is not a disc game that I got. Um, this is actually, you know, like I downloaded this game, the full game, and it was like forty nine ninety nine in the PlayStation Store. Um, I highly recommend that you kind of download it. Um, but if your downloading speed is like really super really slow, then then I would highly recommend that you wait for it to come out on disc. Then you don't have to worry about the frustrating downloads and stuff. Um, but this is like really cool. Um, we're gonna get into this shortly. Um, <clears throat> but this is the coolest thing right here. You got the two thousand and 15, yeah, the 2014, yeah, it came out, to, yeah, this game out, came out uh, this year, 2015, I'm sorry that I made a mistake for saying 2014 when I basically said, I got the Godzilla mixed up, you know, Godzilla, you know, like the Godzilla 2014 is in this game, so, well, um, this is a pretty cool game, the only which chords that I have a problem with with this game, and probably so many others probably do where they don't, um, we're gonna do the tutorial first. No, no, actually, we're gonna we're gonna go ashore. Yeah. Now this, in, you know, like in this, uh, what you call it? The, you know, like the scenario, yeah, you know, like the uh, in this part of the game, you, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, like it's like a story type mode, um, and stuff like that. You, you know, like you start out as this Godzilla. Yeah, you know, like you don't turn into the Godzilla of 2014 at all. Um, this is the first stage, and like so many other gamers that basically have this game or, or whatever, the one thing I have a dislike about is okay, you want you, know, you use the, you use the left which cord stick to move the camera around, and you move the left stick to move him left or right, and this is the one thing that's really annoying. Use the L1 button to like turn them around, or you know, like the R1 to turn them the other way. So let's say if I wanted to go straight, and you know, I can keep going. I would have to hold on the L pad, and okay, yeah, you know, I got let me. Let me just move aside here. Uh, maybe move myself on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, gotta put that up there. Um. Okay, you know, I, I'm gonna basically point out something. Now, you see that thing that's on on the bottom, you know, like on the bottom here. That's your data. Now, when you basically see these little glowing things when you first play, it's kind of like you're taking pictures of Godzilla when he's doing the destruction and all that other stuff. So that was a little bit of um, a little bit of advice, uh, you know. And of course, I beat it on hard mode, and it it was pretty, yeah, you know, it was pretty easy. Come, yeah. You know, you just gotta strategize on how you do it, like how you play this game is strategically. So you know, like for instance, when I first played, yeah, like now I'm kind of like so used to this goddamn game. And oh, here's something cool. Here's a cool feature. Uh, hold the L2 and watch what happens. I'm gonna, you know, like I'm gonna position the camera so we can actually see, what, you know, like this cool thing. Got to it, like. Has this burst of energy and explodes, like a, you know, like I, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but it does destroy little vehicles such as boats and 
and helicopters that are flying right in front of you. And it comes in handy when you're going against the uh, Super X-1, Super X-2, Super X-3, the, um, the, the Tango from Godzilla Final Wars and stuff like that. But, you know, other than that, you know, like, um, but the one thing that was when I first played this, it kind of felt like, ever, yeah, like, okay, let me just fix my, uh, fix my watch cord here and put my picture, you know, I put my watch cord since I already pointed out what that thing is. Um, when I first played this game, if you can't notice, it, controlling Godzilla in this game is a little bit like trying to drive a car if you don't get the handle on, on, on how to like actually control Godzilla's movements because you know you got like the steering which is you know uh, like it's like three type of steering you got this steering wheel and then you got the L and R you know like ones uh, basically to move them left and right you know like um, like I want to keep you know like I want to keep them straight so it's like really hard for me to do that well actually no it's not I'd be fooling myself and others so. But, you know, the object of the game mostly is to destroy things, which is kind of cool. It's kind of a good game if you want to be like, you know, if you're like me when I was a kid. Oh, my God. When I was a child, I used to, you know, like, anytime I watched the Godzilla movie or heard the music, like, dun, 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 dun. And a cool thing that I found out sometime this week, you can actually... For this game, for the PlayStation 3 version, and it wouldn't surprise me if the disc version, if it ever comes out, probably uh, months from now, probably will. It wouldn't surprise me if you could do it in the disc version just as much as you could do it in the downloadable game version. Um, you can actually put your own customized, you, know, like, you can customize the uh, music that is being played. Um, of course, I don't have music playing because it would be copyright. Because some some of the music I have has to do with um, with draft punk or whatever, you know, like one more time or David Bowie's Heroes. We can be heroes just for one day, you know. I, you know, I put you know, I got pick some of that music because you know Godzilla can kind of be a hero um, in one video or a movie, and then he could be a total monstrous dick and just like say okay I'm in a bad mood these people need to learn to stop using nuclear reactors or I'll just can come back and destroy them and okay as you basically see um, you know I'm trying to like steer Godzilla um, and stuff like that now I'm gonna back him up I don't yeah you don't want to get too close to that yeah you see that yeah now half of the stuff in this game is you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to um, destroy reactors and you're gonna have to get to the reactors before time runs out yes they give you a damn time limit which is really annoying in some some way of a Godzilla game you know so you know it's like really frustrating and really a pain in the ass um, and of course I know I did like a Godzilla review for the Super Godzilla you know like, that came out you know like, like Super Godzilla from the Super Nintendo that was one of my favorite games um, for the Nintendo besides the original Godzilla and I, I had other Godzilla games like for PlayStation 2 but you know, like I you know, like it's it's like frustrating because I lost those two awesome games and plus I had one for the uh, GameCube which I had for if I ever had gotten a GameCube but that got lost in the hurricane too so I lost all my Godzilla games from Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo and uh, and this, you know. So, you know, and of course, the coolest thing is you can choose to make it easy or harder. Um, if you want to try to get more stuff, you know, like, you know, like uh, go from easy first, like smooth and, and steady, and then work your way up to normal, or if you're hardcore, go for go all the way on hard, but you have that lady. But you also got to collect the data. See, I already collected the data um, this week um, and stuff like that. I just didn't do it in the normal mode yet. So I still got a long ways to do on this game. So um, I already collected the data in these. Um, I'm going to um, I'm gonna go for easy. 
so, yeah, and of course, leaderships change. You got new leadership, yeah, like, like um, and stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, like, you could change leaderships, um, I guess, like to make it make it challenging. And you know, this is like pretty cool. Um, some of the monsters are in here, such as Mothra, and you know, Mothra's two stages: the caterpillar and the giant butterfly. Um, you got Hydra, which is that weird smog, you know, aka the smog monster. And you know, I would love to keep playing. I'd love to keep playing through this game um, because it's like really good. But I'm running out of time, and you know, it's like ten minutes and counting to eleven minutes. Um, but you know, you could be, you know, like if you like tune in to uh, Twitch. Or hitbox.tv or Ustream, um, I probably will be doing a Let's Play game of this, but I still on Twitch, I still got to do the uh, Final Fantasy Continue, the um, which called. So I'm going to like go to the main menu. I'm going to come back to this game later. Probably play it on Twitch or Hitbox. So until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members, this is General Open Hot saying peace out. And I highly recommend getting this game. And if, you know, if you're a big G fan like myself and like so many people here on YouTube, I highly recommend that you go get Godzilla for any system that it came out for. Um, you can get it for God knows what. But I highly recommend that you get this one for PlayStation 3 and 4. So until next time, viewers, peace out. See ya. Bye.